Hello guys, uh, someone still thinks that for two and over Switch games since 2014 doesn't support me with Frank. Um, they're wrong. Uh, let me just do quick things. Right now I have 4 cores, 12 threads. Let me just enable the 4 cores, 8 threads. Um, Eight. So here we go. Uh, let me get in the same position. <coughs> kind of same PS. So why? Because for two can support four cores or four threads. I don't remember. So multi threading does work, but it's limited. Uh, let me check how does multi threading works. So let me disable the threads. So. Force 2 kind of good with 4 cores, with 4 threads, uh, but actually it's still good. Look at FPS, it's kind of the same. Yeah, it's the same. Because I have 4 cores right now, 4 threads. I have massive huge Intel cores. <laughs> uh, 4 cores enabled, 4 threads. So, let me do the first thing. I'll do right now two cores like and for threads. Let me do this quick thing. We had four cores right now. Now I have two cores with four threads. Same position. Um, let me stay calm. Kind of 310. And let me disable the threads. So. CPU 1 is thread, CPU 3 is thread, so I'm disabling it. So I disable them, and right now I have to 200 FPS. <coughs> Sorry, I move. Uh, yeah. So I have two cores right now for threads. So with uh, two cores for threads, I had 300 FPS. With two cores, four threads, I had 300. Let me do first thing. One core, one core. So with one core, I have kind of 150 FPS. So let me go to the test manager again. I'll disable one core, two threads. Now I have uh, kind of 180. So, what can you get from this video? GeForce 2 supports four, four cores easily, but five nah. So, you can just get a good CPU with four cores, or even with four threads, but four cores will be better, of course. So, GeForce 2 easily supports multi threading. And maximum 44 is for course, yeah. That's all. See you later.